Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. Listen, I'm glad to have you guys here. Today is the 19th of Wednesday of February 2020. You know what? They're not pricing anything in. Uh, let's take a look here. Let's open up the charts right here. Uh, market euphoria amidst the global slowdown. I mean, Germany is heading into a recession. China is... Honest to goodness, such a slowdown. It's almost like their economy has come to a grinding halt. There's going to be amazing dislocations in supply chains around the world that's coming right up. Parts, you're not going to be able to get parts for almost anything. <laughs> you're not going to, I mean, and mar the market's not pricing any of this in. The, the spin-offs from this, like you're going to go to your grocery store and they're not going to have any bags. and, and Companies that produce things, they're not going to have any, any packaging, you know, and it's just endless cuts in supply chains that are coming up because of this, what's happening in China that's not being priced in anywhere into the system. There's going to be a price to pay for all of this, an enormous price coming up in the future. And this price is going to be paid in the stock market. I mean, they can they can be euphoric all they want. The stock market can't continue to go up if businesses can't get what they need to do business. I mean, parts and stuff. I mean, right down to the farms might need parts for their tractor, and they're just not going to be able to get them because the part is made in China. And, and Chinese, this slowdown is accelerating. And, and it's like the market's not taking any notice of, of losing China, losing all of the uh, parts and pieces that make our, our system run. It's just, they're just so excited by this money that they're getting from the Fed that, I mean, it's it's absolutely unreal. Let's take a look at what's going on out there today. Let's get in there and take a look at the silver price. $18.25. Seen a, a good little lift in the price of silver and gold uh, over the last day or two. But this is not the bull market that we've been waiting for. It still hasn't lifted off the launch pad yet. If it's a rocket, it's only one foot in the air. That's it. It's just started. <laughs> this is nothing compared to what's coming. 18.25 is the price on silver today. It is up from where it was down around 17.80, you know, or 17.70, whatever, you know. It's in, up into the 18s now, which is looking good, you know. Let's take a look at gold. Gold price is 16.05, and gold is up above $1,600, and it's holding its mark up above 1600 but, you know, with the conditions the way they are right now, gold should be above above $2,000, really. That's where it should be, above $2,000, considering what's going on out there, you know. Uh, and it's the world's premier safe haven asset. Let's take a look at cryptocurrency today. Oh, did I give the price for gold? 160520 That's the price for gold. My mind's a little bit off of what I'm doing right now. Uh, there's so much going on in the world, so many things my mind has to process, you know. Let's take a look at cryptocurrency market capitalizations. And what we're looking at today is $295 billion. With a Bitcoin dominance of 62.5%. And the coins are doing really good. Bitcoin is staying up above $10,000. 10000 one hundred and thirty four dollars today for Bitcoin and we see the other coins are doing rather well too Litecoins at 77 ethereum's at 279 Bitcoin cash is at 414 and Bitcoin SV is at 306 looking down here on the list a little bit uh, the other coins are doing rather well Monero's 85 bucks uh, I know you guys are into, like, there's EOS 455, okay? Anyway, let's move on. Dow Jones Industrial Average. Can you believe this? In the light of what's going on with, with, the, the, with the markets going up today, up 69 points, with basically 
we're completely losing China. It just the China's just fallen off a cliff, and the markets are actually up. So, I'm in disbelief that the markets could actually climb, considering all of the supply side distribution problems that are going to be coming in the next few months. Things like medication. I mean, do people think about things like this? Things that are mostly all produced in China now. And the market's up 86 now. It's it's jumping. It's going up like a bullet. Honest to gosh, what's going on with this? I mean, they they just so enamored with that money coming from the Fed. We're looking at a climbing market. It's it's unbelievable. Let's take a look now at uh, at oil prices. Oil prices is climbing too. Fifty three oh four. It's climbed a lot today. It's climbed a whole buck, for crying out loud. A whole buck. 5304. Uh, okay, now let's take a look at U.S. Treasuries. <clears throat> now, you know what we're seeing here? We're seeing uh, rising yields on Treasuries today. All the way across the yield curve, except for the very tight short end, you know, which has fallen a little bit. Uh, so they're not buying into treasuries quite so much today. I I'll tell you what. The injections of liquidity that are going to have to, th that's going to be needed to keep everything from falling to pieces is going to be absolutely astounding, the amount of liquidity that they're going to have to inject into the system coming up soon. And they're going to have to keep injecting this liquidity to keep the core of the system running through this crisis. It's going to expand out, you know. Uh, it's going to be the kind of crisis that can come to the, to, it's going to, it's, as it spreads out wider and wider, this crisis, it's going to have more and more of an impact on the system. It's going to require more and more money creation. Because this is really the only tool that they have, is money creation, you know? And that's what's going to hold the core part of the system together. So that, so that the system doesn't really fall apart to the point where you don't have any essential services. And, you know, I mean, a system can fall apart that bad. Where you don't have any essential services, the power goes out, and everything just falls to pieces. The system can fall, can fall to pieces that but it's money that will hold that together enough where everything will stay in place through a major crisis. And then the system will come out the other side and start to improve again. If you let the system completely fall apart, like so that the essential services even come to a grind and halt, and your electricity goes out and everything else, then it's every man for himself. They're not going to go there. Because if they go there, then they lose power too. You know, and what power I'm talking about, I'm not talking about electricity. I'm talking about the, the ones in power, the people who govern the system, lose power if they let, basically, if they let the power go out, if they let essential services. So they have to keep that core running. That's the, that's the essential part of the system. And that's where the money printing comes in, to keep that core running. The core will run on money during that period in time when, when, a, when a crisis is happening. When the crisis is over, right, then what happens is, is then the system starts to bounce back again. You know, uh, everywhere in the world, it'll start to bounce back then at that point. But it might not ever bounce back to the way it was, you know, because it took tremendous amount of stimulus and this tremendous amount of money borrowing to get, to get us to where we were. You know, and this crisis might take us down a level or two, but we'll get a bounce back after it's over. But it might not ever bounce back up to the amount of 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 net worth that the system was worth before the crisis started. You know. Anyway, I'm rambling on a little bit. Uh, we're taking a look at treasuries here, and we're seeing yields rising a little bit here today. Let's take a look at now at the U.S. dollar index. 99.61 on the U.S. dollar index, and we see the dollar climbing today. It's getting ready to go over 100 on the U.S. dollar index.
Listen, thank you guys for listening to my show today. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And we'll catch you guys in the very next video. Bye-bye, guys.